How many of you know about uh, Project Loki? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Because it happened again. Former rioters made their own studio again and they made another amazing game. You know who is it's this time? Ha, the moment he appears on screen, that's when uh, the, the men shall be separated for, from kids or boys is the thing, right? Because how many of you remember, remember this guy? Hold on. First of all, Hey everyone. How many, how many of you know? How many of you? How many of you know this guy? This was my favorite guy back in the day. Whenever he appeared on camera and like he talked about League News. You freaking knew. Oh yeah, he did the anniversary. Yeah, hey everyone, Joe here, right? Or is it, is it, is it was that what, what he said? <laughs> he quit, that was a while ago. Um... Three years ago? Four? That was a while ago. Like, I believe the year after the 10th anniversary. Joe here. You Four might years? remember me from the time I spent leading League of Legends at Riot. That's him. Or maybe, if you're a real Grizzled Ancient, you recognize me I remember, from my Bungie. Halo days at Bungie. Yep, but today, I remember. I remember. I'm here to talk to you about something new. Today I'm speaking on behalf of everyone at Theorycraft Games. We're a new, small, and very independent game. I mean, new. They've been around We're for a while to make now. We're the deepest games in the world. Games that are worthy of thousands of hours of play. And games that are just better. They actually have veterans. Play them with your friends. The, again, again, it's kind of crazy how, like, rioters are, in general, are so good that when they leave Riot, they just go and make their own game, and it's always a banger. It happened, like, th three times now. I believe this is the fourth time it happened. <laughs> we became independent to give ourselves the freedom to take a big swing. So we took everything we've learned yep. over the years about yep. making super fun PvP games and set out to nah. build something fresh. Thanks and was a banger. Well. Hold on. Fangs. <laughs> um. Two years Nakrit vibe Nakris ad Nakrit love. Uh. Fangs released. Anyway, a new always a banger for you and the squad. Let me just show you. Always a banger. And thank you, Poldy. Thank you for the 24 months. Now, so at the first of all, there is a lot. There is a lot to dive into because I'm like, look, it is technically a MOBA, but here's the giant twist. I believe there are four teams on the map. I believe there are four teams. You pick your champions. I believe it is a squad of three. You drop in like a battle royale. Which I believe Battle Right did that. However, the massive twist, and you will see this later, is that you do not have... This is how Battle Right died. Uh, well... So ba battle right, okay. So battle right died because, in my opinion, their me their mechanics were way too simple. Also, yeah, it's okay. It's four man squads. Battle right was way too simple. It was literally you have abilities. That's it. That was it. Like there was no monsters, minions, kind of nothing. It was like you find someone, you fight them. What separates this game from? a lot of other games is that you actually don't have a, a a permanent vision around you you only see a little bit around your character and then you you see in front of you you'll see this later see 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 how there's like fog of war here it's because this character is looking this way you don't see you don't actually see around you so if you are in a forest you have to look around for ambush and i mean you really have to look around for ambush because you don't see behind you Lemon, come on! Thank you for the prime. I really appreciate. It. Thank you. Oh, I'm not for this. And I mean, you know, they show you a bunch of abilities. We don't know the champion, so yeah, you know, kind of like it's kind of like league. It's hard to know what's really happening because if you don't know the game, you just don't know. There's not much. But here, here's the vision. See, like they killed the character there. They turned around. The character disappeared because they don't have vision here. Someone could be standing there, waiting for an ambush, they wouldn't see. 
I actually find this really cool. This actually is really cool. But that's not it, hold on. It kinda goes crazier. Watch what happens now. This is, at this point in the trailer, I was like, oh. This! I was like, mm. Oh my god. <laughs> so they have gliders. Obviously, it's like a battle royale. They have hazards. You can you can freaking uh rail grind. Like the movement is really cool here. I would say like the movement looks similar to like Apex Legends. They, I'm it isn't like like an asymmetric RPG. It's not an RPG. It's it's like you know classic asymmetric MOBA, but they have vertical movement. I'm so excited. To That's get to cool. Show you a little of our first game in development. Absolutely, yeah. I am a little bit afraid that the depth perception it will screw with you. Um, I am a little bit afraid that sometimes you will not know how high you actually are. For now, we're calling it Project Loki. From the very beginning of development, but I have confidence in these devs, players, though. In our Discord, testing the game and giving us feedback. Sounds like Fortnite MOBA. Uh, yeah. And you know what? Hell yeah. <laughs> and it's thanks to them we're confident enough to share more. Why Some not? Of our players have described Loki in their own words as League meets Apex meets Smash. Apex. We so, love okay, that. So yeah, they're yeah, yeah, they're going more towards um, Apex rather than Fortnite, which. Makes sense, because that's what the movement uh, reminded me. Description, and can only hope to live up to it. In a session like of my only, oh my, it's Delta Rune. So my only issue with this is that there are so many character-based games these days that making a memorable character is really hard. If a new game comes out and it's like, oh, look, we have a roster of 20 new characters, I'll be like, oh, God, that's 20 more into my brain. That's my... Maybe that's just my issue. I just feel like since... Because the character-based formulas work. It's good. It works. I just don't know if I can handle it anymore. Loki, you'll assemble your squad from our roster of heroes. You'll put then again, the heroes totally look cool. unique builds with exotic powers and equipment. You'll outplay other teams in sprawling. So there are. Throwing. See, you can see three teams: the purple team, green team, red team. I don't know if there was blue team somewhere. I think it's four teams. I don't Two think battles. it's three. You'll run the edge of a huge world in the sky and dream up crazy strategies in our combat sandbox. I won't spoil everything about Loki right now, but one thing we're really proud. There's also of, yellow, yeah. Even this early in development is just how much creativity so, and yeah, I think it's we've built see? into combat. See? For, so what happened there? Again, I don't know I don't, I don't know what, what you know what, what the movement, movement system is, but I assume you have a glider. Everything about Loki right now. You go into the this, thing, you have a little well, like, you know, we played Genshin, we know what really this is. Proud of. Even this you can drop down a trampoline. Early in development. It's just how However, I believe this character is using some kind of an ability, like Caitlyn, you know, shooting the net that actually shoots you back as well. I assume they use an ability that, like, knocks them back and they use that momentum to jump off of it. That's what I assume they are doing here. How much creativity and freedom we've built right? in combat. If you're coming and that's what gives you really cool movement system. On top of being... Not even traditional MOBA. I actually think this is closer to... Alright, how many of you are like 30 and above? Um, I don't think I'm gonna hit my audience with this, but... How many of you remember Warcraft 3? <laughs> 28 counts? Yeah, that's what I am. Um, Because in Warcraft 3, in what... You had like custom little modes built into the game. You didn't even download them. They, they were like set there. Where you played as one character. You didn't play as an army. You played as one character and you walked around the map. You explored the map. You found things and you collected things. And then you like prepared for a battle. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. And I loved that in Warcraft. So I hope they are going to do this, do this here. 
playing from a MOBA like League or Dota, we think you'll... Uh, look, look, this is what I mean. This is what I love about the site. This is so dynamic. You have to actually look in front of you to see things. Immediately appreciate the difference. What I am afraid is gonna happen is that people will be, will, will be you know, it'll be a little siren, you know, <laughs> freaking spinning around constantly. You learn how to express your own unique play style. A founding principle of theorycraft is to be community driven in our approach. We think there will always be a need for game studios who are willing to go to war yes. with the industry yes. on behalf of players. Yes. Every, every viral game actually came out. And I mean it, every single viral game actually came out because they were competing with another one and with another one in the genre and they beat them. Every single viral game. And usually they take their idea and they, they make it better. So you know what? What if these guys actually take the idea of MOBAs and they they, they take what Battle Rights tried to do and they do it better? Hmm? What if that one works? And uh, I'm gonna call you Zimmer. <laughs> Sorry, me, Zimmer. Thank you for the prime. I really appreciate. It. Thank you. We think you deserve to be involved early, to be listened to, and to be the center of the games you choose to play. I believe. The only the only thing about this game that scares me is that what do you do in the middle of the map? Like what do you do when you drop down? Do you look for loot? Because it doesn't seem like you're buying items here. Like how do you progress through the game before you find another team? There have to be objectives. And that's what scares me a little bit. In the past, we've championed these values on games you've loved. And at Theorycraft, you can expect us to carry that same spirit forward. Yeah, yeah. How did I don't know how Battle Right worked, but if they had loot, they have to have some kind of loot, like at least like shields or something. There was PVE. You're right. There were some monsters. I just don't know what's the progression outside. To our current playtesting community, I really can't tell you enough mm. how grateful we are for you. If you're meeting us for the first time, what we're showing today is just the beginning. Yeah, I we followed hope you'll you sign before. Up to Come play some games with us and join us on the journey. I actually knew know about this game because I actually followed Joe on Twitter and like when he left, he tweeted like, ah, we got the studio. And so I started following the studio. That's how I know about Thanks them. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to share more with you soon. Oh, that's my client sound. I was like, I listened to the outro and I was like, isn't that one of one of Riot's sound effects? Okay, no, that's actually okay, that's PBE, you know what? That's what it is. And yeah, I signed up. I signed up because this one actually looks cool. It looks it looks polished. And that's what I'm interested in. It looks polished. I am hopeful. I am hopeful because God knows the MOBA genre needs a rival. They need to push on.